Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Outer Worlds. My name is Camel, and today I'll be showing you how to acquire the unique Spacer's Choice light pistol, known as the Salvager's Helper. It's really easy to acquire, and you can get it fairly early on, and it's got the highest DPS of any pistol in the game. Be warned though, it's a very strange weapon, and even if you don't want to use it, you still need to collect it for your hoard of unique items anyway. Now along with the acquisition, we'll also be taking a good long look at the corrosive stats. A timestamp for the overview can be found down in the description, along with my other Outer Worlds videos. They can be browsed in the playlist. My social media links are also down there. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram after this video. So at the start of the game, after leaving Terra 2, we'll be on our ship, the Unreliable. Once here, we'll want to head down to the navigation terminal and fly to the groundbreaker. Now when we hop out we'll find ourselves inside the hangar. We want to head over to the promenade. If it is your first time here you'll have to speak to the customs officer. Once that's done just head through the blast doors into the marketplace. And while it is easy to get distracted in here we want to go down the stairs and turn left into the rest and go. Walk over to the open door on the left and in here we'll find Gladys. We will want to speak with her. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven, just like store-bought. Too bloody right, mate. Show me what you've got for sale. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Cool story. Now once in here, we'll see the first item that we can purchase is the very one that we came here for, the Salvage's Helper. And you'll also notice that it's pretty pricey, sitting around five to 6,000 bits, depending on your Groundbreaker reputation discount. Now while this might seem like a lot, as I always say, bits are meant for spending. You don't need to buy a house, you don't need to pimp out your ship with mods or renovate a planet. All the bits that you gain in the outer worlds is there to be spent at vendors just like this one. So snap that bad boy up. Now in our inventory, we can see the Salvager's Helper is a Spacer's Choice weapon. It's got a value of 388, which is over 51 times more valuable than the standard Spacer's Choice light pistol. Its weight is identical, and we can see its flavor text reads, Acid, the gift that keeps on giving. I'm really hoping that's some kind of double entendre referencing lysergic acid dithylamide. Now we can learn a little more in the information text. The salvage's helper fires a hailstorm of corrosive bullets. The loading mechanism is complex, resulting in long reloads, and that is true. So now we'll compare the stats of the salvage's helper with those of the standard variant, the Spacer's Choice Light Pistol. And while the values that you see on screen here may differ to what you see in your game, depending on your character's particular build, the stat differences between the two weapons are relevant to the character and will scale accordingly to yours. So the first difference we'll see is that the salvage's helper delivers corrosive damage, whereas whereas the Spacer's Choice Light Pistol deals standard physical damage. Now this corrosive damage changes the approach of the pistol quite a bit, but I'll go into more detail on that in a minute. Now as we can see, the Salvager's Helper has a base damage of 32, superior to the Light Pistol's base damage of 20. However, you'll also notice that it has a times 6 next to it. That's because with one trigger pull, the Salvager's Helper fires 6 bullets in a burst. Yes, this does mean you'll probably burn through ammunition quite quickly, or at least more quickly than normal. Now this totally changes the pistol game and also makes this a very strange weapon when incorporating the other stat factors of the gun. For example, it has an ammunition capacity of 18, which is double that of the light pistol, but because it fires 6 bullets at a time, you can only pull the trigger 3 times before needing to reload. This is actually a slight issue because of its obscure nature, as the Salvager's Helper has a reload time of 3 seconds, double that of the 1.5 seconds of the light pistol. Now don't be fooled either. While its fire rate is 2.5 shots per second, which at first glance seems doubly inferior to the light pistol's 5 shots a second. However, this is referencing trigger pulls per second. 
So in reality, you can pull the trigger 2.5 times per second. Each pull will fire six bullets. So it's delivering 15 bullets per second, three times more than the light pistol can do. Now this combination of higher base damage and ridiculous fire speed come together to create this towering base DPS or damage per second, sitting at a whopping 480, which is almost five times that of the standard Spacer's Choice Light Pistol's base DPS. Now while yes, this is the highest base DPS of any pistol in the game, there is another factor that we must consider that huge reload time. Once we factor that in with the base damage, we end up with a much more humble base DPM or damage per minute of 8,361, which is still greatly superior to the 3,484 base DPM of the light pistol, but the ratio is almost halved from DPS to DPM once we incorporate that reload time into the damage. Now, while the recoil is identical between the two guns, because with one trigger pull we're firing six bullets, you're getting six times the recoil. So per bullet it's the same, but per trigger pull it makes the salvager's friend feel very wild when firing, and often results in what seems like drunken pistol slinging and ferocious readjustments in aim mid-firing. Now something else is the condition. They both have 1,500 as their maximum condition. However, pulling the trigger once with a salvager's friend, as we know, fires six bullets and will deteriorate the gun by 14.4. This equates to a condition loss of 2.4 per bullet. The standard Spacer's Choice light pistol, after firing six bullets, will degenerate by 18 condition. This equates to a condition loss of three per bullet. So in actuality, Per bullet, the Salvager's Helper is a longer lasting, more durable weapon. With that fire rate though, per trigger pull, you'll break it a lot faster than you would the standard light pistol. Now before we get into the juice, let's talk about the only physical difference that I can find, and that would be the green light above the trigger, portraying the fact that it deals corrosive damage. Normally there's a red strip there to tell you it's physical damage. Now let's talk about that corrosive damage. This is a damage type very effective against heavily armored enemies, especially mantisaurs, auto mechanicals, AKA robots, and of course, any human enemy boasting a high armor rating. So naturally, this weapon is made the most of when used against said enemies. Now, something else I think that is important to mention is the DPS is super high if all of the bullets hit the target. I found it very common that all six bullets would not make contact with the enemy, especially at moderate to long ranges. Between you moving, the bullets moving, and the enemy moving, mixed in with that unhealthy dose of six bullets worth of recoil in less than a second, a few or more bullets missing during combat is commonplace. In actuality, I think it's much more practical to have a gun that deals big damage per bullet, rather than just wildly spewing green crap all over the place, hoping most of them make it. Now, that big reload time is really noticeable in combat. And given you'll empty the magazine in just over a second, having to wait three seconds for a reload can be very deadly in combat. Oftentimes, I just found myself standing there with an empty gun and three enemies just filling me with bullets. You would have to play very evasively if you want to use this gun as your main weapon. Now I can confirm that this gun is definitely designed for close quarters combat, and it's designed to take out one enemy in a split second. Guy comes around the corner, pfft, dead. If five guys come around the corner, this salvager's helper really won't help much at all. Sure, you can do it, but there are plenty of better options. So while it is the highest base DPS pistol in the game, is it the best? Is it the most practical? I don't think so. However, it is fun and rather unique, and I would love to hear about any build that you've come up with or way in which you use it and utilize this weapon and its interesting aspects to the fullest. For example, if you got the crit damage and the crit chance really high, you could really ruin someone's day with this, and very reliably too. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's get some help to salvage this video, and um, here it is in action, the Salvager's Helper. In Nice 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique Spacer's Choice light pistol, the Salvager's Helper. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Outer Worlds videos that I've already done. You can find those down in the description via the playlist. Now down there, in the old description, you can also find links to my social media, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.